I'm Violet Robertson, I'm from Pottstown, Pennsylvania, and I'm currently playing football, basketball, and track. Um, it kind of started off as I just knew I wasn't going to play soccer this year, and I wanted to try something new, hopefully, and my mom kind of suggested as a joke, like, oh, you should just go cook for football. And I kind of looked at her and I was like, that's actually a really good idea. Violet stopped me this summer uh, and said that she would like to try, come out and try and be our kicker for the football team this year. Um, and I said, of course, and she got somebody to work with this summer and she worked on our skills and she's been doing great ever since. I think it's really interesting. It's like, I was really surprised when like, people told me she was on the team. I've seen it before, it happened before, but it's never really like, like really happens and witnessed it to me on the team before. I walked into preseason, the first practice I was coming back in my pads, and so we're walking back and the other people are arriving, and I had a bunch of people like look at me like, oh my god, this is so cool. It's just, it makes me so happy that I've gotten all this positive feedback because I really wasn't sure how it was going to go. Believe it or not, Violet is the third girl that I've coached in my career. So I've done this before, so for me it was old hat. Um, and Violet is you know, very self-aware and does a great job. So she was really self-sufficient and kind of just took care of herself and it was, has, was and has been a very smooth transition. Uh, being surrounded by a different environment with Violet is probably something that she had to adjust to early in the season, so at least something that I saw um, coming from a soccer team where it's all girls and coming to a football team where it's a physical sport. It's definitely a different transition that Violet definitely had to go through. It is certainly an experience, but I couldn't have asked for it to go any better or smoother than it has. Um, the coaches and the players treat me like anyone else on the team, which is all I would have asked for. It's like the perfect balance between I'm not one of the guys, but I'm also not like that, that girl on the football team. You know, she's a, she's a varsity athlete and has been a varsity athlete for a long time at Hill. So she understood the expectations coming in of what a varsity practice would be like. She's done a great job, but again, I hold her to the same standards as everybody else. Football's different because of the contact element of it, um, but she was in great shape. She was ready to go in August and, and hasn't really looked back. In practice, she helps a lot with the scout team. Um, she's always the one, first one to jump up, do a kicker, and the beginning of the practice, we're doing extra points and like that. As a supporter, she's the, our number one fan and on and off the field. And as a, as a teammate, I think she's good because she brings the energy like on the sideline that we need. She's supporting the team. Like when she's on the sideline, she, she supports everybody that's playing on the field. I think having her on the team kind of grows us closer because we don't really view each other's values and things like that differently because obviously she has different values than us on the team. So having her on the team definitely doesn't, it kind of blinds us from you know viewing other people from, uh, based off of what they believe and things like that. You know, I think that, you know, Violet has definitely set the groundwork for anybody to come out and play football. I think that's something that's really important to mention that Hill football can be for the premier athlete and it can be for the, the, the young man or woman who just likes high school sports. So there's a place for everybody on our team.